basketball players, Coach Ludwig back with you here. Uh, had another request from Coach Lovedahl and Coach Dawson for MYAS to, uh, to walk some catchers through some stuff you guys can do at home as you're getting prepared for the season coming up hopefully this summer. Um, first one I want to talk through is we're going to just talk through a couple things you can do to work on your receiving at home. Um, if, uh, if you have softy, uh, these squishy balls here, if you got anything like this, tennis balls, uh, if you've got any of these plyo balls or weighted balls to work with, um, those are great regular baseballs. Um, other things that I like to have, wrist weights. Mom or dad have some wrist weights around. You can use those. If you've got these agility discs or even a couple frisbees, those are great opportunities to, uh, to work on your receiving. Um, as we, you know, the easiest thing is to, to bounce a tennis ball off a wall and catch it. Uh, that's an easy thing to work on. Uh, if you got mom or dad or brother, sister at home and they can flip you baseballs uh, underhand, these are great chances to keep working on your receiving, doing some bare hand work. Um, just understand as we do our receiving, we still want to make sure that we're focusing on catching the ball deep in our pocket, thumb underneath, fingers on top and we're working around the zone to try and bring the ball back to the center of the plate as much as possible. Um, if, you have, uh, if you have smaller gloves, some of those trainer gloves are great. You can use those. Use your regular mitt if you want, uh, but these are good chances for you to work on receiving the baseball, getting it deep in the pocket, and also working out on multiple stances. Uh, so real quick, let's just talk about stances as we get through our receiving. We have our traditional stance where we're two feet on the ground, we're gonna have our hips kind of sinking down. Knees are pointing at our second baseman and our shortstop. And we're nice and low to the ground here, right? And so what we're gonna work on when we're doing any receiving drills out of this stance is we're gonna show a target and let it relax. You can almost let it touch the floor if you want. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna try and catch the baseball, thumb underneath, fingers on top, and keep it in the strike zone as much as possible, okay? You can have a couple different methods of doing this, but we're working on just Soft hands, catching the baseball as much as possible, keeping it in the zone. Other stances we can work on are secondary stance. We're gonna work out of this. We're gonna get a little wider in our base, sink our hips down, chest forward. Our hand can either go against our inner thigh, behind our back, behind our leg, but same idea. We're working here and working on keeping the ball in the strike zone as much as we can. For those of you that are trying to work on a knee drop stance, the two variations on that are having our left knee down, right knee is up, and we're gonna sit back on that left heel. Again, putting the hand somewhere comfortable. And again, we're just catching the ball from anybody flipping it to you, tossing it against the wall and catching it. If you got a driveline trampoline, you can flip them off the trampoline. And then the last one that I'll show you, knee drop stance, right knee kickstand. This is what you probably see Mitch Garber do all year. And we're gonna put our left leg out knee pointed at the other dugout and we're going to sink down into it and this is going to allow us to get this knee out of the way and we're going to receive in here all right this is a good chance for you to try all these stances out get comfortable with them be flexible with them uh use tennis balls i got a couple here you can use tennis balls mini oops sorry mini golf balls squish balls i uh, have a parent or a friend flip you these little frisbee discs and we're working on thumb underneath fingers on top catching the frisbee disc as it works around the zone any of these weighted plyo balls are great to have somebody toss to you catch it out in front thumb underneath fingers on top if you have uh one of those grip grippers a spring grip uh you can use that to just work on our grip strength as we catch the ball around the zone uh, so i hope these are some good ideas for you to work on as you're receiving Try out some of these new stances, get flexible in your hips, be comfortable with them uh, so that you can employ them in a game at some point so that you're not constantly sitting in one stance the whole time uh, and getting your hips all locked up. So let's work on uh, adding in some of those additional stances, working on catching the ball in the fringes of the zone, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get you guys set up ready to go in the summer.